We're here at Grace Community Church on Allentown Road. We're inside the big sanctuary, and of course, there's not a lot of chairs here right mm -hmm. now. Pastor John Hay, we're glad to have you out here. Good to be with you. Empty sanctuary. What's that do to you as a pastor coming into Easter? I mean, how do you feel? Because that's the kind of the pinnacle of every pastor's year is, is Resurrection Sunday. The great sadness is not being together as a church family. Without a doubt, yeah. we would love to be together as brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah, because you just, when you, when you give a sermon, you kind of feed off of the, the congregation mm -hmm. a little bit, don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting used to just <laughs> staring right ahead at a camera. So we're doing a live stream service. We have just a single camera that I'm looking at. And people have said that they've uh, appreciated it at home, but it does feel very strange to not have them here with us. How can they find, someone that's not going to your church right now, how can they find your live, live stream? It's at uh, GCC Lima and backslash live. GCC Lima backslash live. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. So you're doing a, a, a service every week. How else are you you're communicating with your congregation right now? Well, we've learned about Zoom, right? Everybody's uh, learned yep. about Zoom. So we've done all sorts of Zoom mm -hmm. uh, small group meetings. We've had we, uh, the elders and deacons and women's ministry and other staff get together once a week on Zoom. We've also had Zoom prayer meetings oh, and uh, cool. a small group, a women's small group meets by Zoom. So we've been doing a lot that way. Yeah. So often, I mean, for years, we see churches on every corner think that's the church, but now we realize that that's not really the church. The work's gone on way outside the buildings, right? I wonder if one of the long-term benefits of this will be people will recognize how we need to be connected as individuals, mm -hmm. not just to a building. And we've already heard people say, you know, I've, I've done more phone calling than I've ever done. Yeah. I've talked to people at church where so I wouldn't typically do it. So that's one of the good things God is doing in the midst of this uh, really uncertain season that we're living so through. So are you staying in touch with the, with the congregation as a group? I mean, talking to people and finding out how they're doing? We're doing, our church is phenomenal. We have a great group of deacons who called through uh, a list of people. The women's ministry is doing an incredible job. Mm -hmm. The elders have stepped up. We're calling through a uh, list of our church. So yeah, people are really staying connected yeah. by phone and by um, Zoom and other social media.